boy is here tonight, right here for you. He was at the Puerto Rican Day Parade, and he's still here. He rode with all them people in the same car, and he's here. Put your hands together for the one and only Michael, Sean. Give it up for him, y'all. Hold on, hold on, clap it up for me, y'all. Clap it up, give me some love. Everybody joining this. Clap it up for me, I am Puerto Rican tonight. Look at my hair. I am Puerto Rican for real. Clap it up, ain't nobody tell you to stop. Gotta be kidding, I'm Puerto Rican, which means I did not come by myself. I got 60 Puerto Ricans on a Honda Accord outside right now. Clap it up. Go ahead, stop clapping. You know I'm Puerto Rican. I almost match the back stuff right here. <laughs> cool design, this ride. We got to talk about this. The Laugh House is high. <laughs> you see them squinty eyes? Laugh. Y'all better loosen up. I know it's been a long night. I do not care. I told you I was Puerto Rican. You can tell by the whole way I got my thing situated. I'm proud to be who I am. I don't front. I don't try and be like Dominican, Mexican, and nothing. No, I'm just Puerto Rican, which means I can hook a car up. <laughs> it's not a stereotype. It's real. I can hook a car. Puerto Ricans will hook a car up. We will get a car, put everything on it, everything. <laughs> Except that insurance, the little thing, the little insurance thing. <laughs> I had a cut. Y'all think I'm lying? I had a cousin Manny had a my cousin Manny had a ceiling fan in his car. A ceiling fan? Y'all think I'm a ceiling fan? Drive down the street like this all day. <laughs> he had a black girl in the car. She forgot that the... Manny, stop the car. Manny, stop the car. I'm hooked up. I'm coming back. I swear to God, I'm coming back, Manny. Here I come. Stop the car. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. He had never dated a black woman in his life. She got out that car ready to beat my cousin up. He had no idea why. I used to be married to a black woman. I know there's one thing you cannot mess with a black woman. Her hair. Y'all are on some Saddam Hussein, Osama Bin Laden type of drug when it comes to your hair. You can tell when a black woman just got her hair done. Because no matter how much it might itch, she will not scratch that head. But she will poke the hell out the hole. Oh. And if that don't work, what y'all do? Y'all take that long skinny comb with the pointy end? That's like the Nutribox. Oh. That itch thought I wasn't gonna get it. I got you, itch. I got you. Dry scalp, dry scalp, dry scalp. That's right. Be who you are. Don't try and front. Whoever you are, whatever it is, be proud of it. If you fat, you be fat. You be as fat as possible. You eat. When you go to somebody's house, don't be shy. Let them know if I'm coming over, do you have food? I'm on no low carb, no low nothing, low nothing, 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 nothing. Where the cheese stay? Oprah, fat, skinny, fat, skinny, lost 100 pounds twice, still can't get married. F Oprah. If you a crackhead, you be a good crackhead. You smoke a lot of crack. Just don't be a stupid crackhead. Ain't nothing worse than a stupid crackhead. Why do crackheads wear tank tops in the summertime? Like they've been working out all winter long. And now they crack days or something. Be proud who you are. Be proud. If you are not well endowed, man, if you are not well endowed, let a woman know from the door. Don't try to sneak nothing up. You can't always make love in the dark. Something gonna happen. She gonna see something. If you are not well endowed, make sure you get the unwell endowed condom. You are lifestyles. You are Trojans. You are not Magnums. There's nothing more embarrassing than a man making love to a woman walking in with a baggy condom. She look at you like a newborn infant. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Come here, come here. Come. Put it in my hand, put it in my hand, put it in my hand. TT, in... come in here. You gotta see this, you gotta see this. Oh my God, this is so baggy. What's this, a FUBU condom? You are crazy. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Alex Thomas. Some people might know me as Tata Lalicious. Little funny dude on the Jamie Foxx show. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in all the hood classics. Players Club, two can play that game. The Wash, don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. I'm a comedian and I'm an actor. Right. Whatever. So I guess, where are you from? I'm from, where am I from? I'm from South Central LA, born and raised. Wow. Been in California my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I just, uh, comedy kind of let me uh, open the doors to see the world. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I'm one of those kind of dudes that, uh, 
I grew up in South Central LA. I was, you know, born around Crips and Bloods, gang banging, killing, all that kind of stuff. I just happened to be one of those dudes that didn't get caught up in that. You know what I mean? The stereotypical uh, NWA, boys in the hood. Yeah, I was around all that. But the thing that, you know, made me different was I was the only black kid in an all white private school for 10 years. So I was bust smack dab the middle of Beverly Hills. You know what I'm saying? But I was born and raised in South Central. So I got teased a lot from the from brothers in the neighborhood. You know, they thought I was a sellout. You know, you act like a white boy. You talk like a white boy. Cause I wasn't doing things the brothers was doing. You know what I mean? I, I could swim. Uh, I played hockey for five years. I, I golf, you know, the stereotypical South Central stuff. It wasn't me. How did I find comedy? Um, you know what, I was always just a silly dude in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? When I got to high school, I won Best Sense of Humor, Class Clown. It's not like I was trying uh, to do that. You know, it wasn't like, uh, vote for me in June. You know, Class Clown, no, it just, it just kind of happened. And, and kind of back to what I was saying earlier, um, that was my way to make the gangsters and the hustlers and all them like me, because I wasn't tough. It, you know, and, and I, I wasn't getting in fights. And I always like to say, you know, a lot of dudes were scared of the other gang. I was scared of my father. My father and my mom, you know, had a real tight family that kept me together. So, you know, I guess I was just kind of like the comedy relief of South Central. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.